right, let's look at forces and equilibrium. This is a mass hanging uh, supported by two strings, and this string we'll call tension one, and we'll call this one tension two. Now, this <coughs> tension one, it's providing a supportive force upward, so there are two vectors, components of the tension force, that are acting on this in order to hang the mass. Now, this in the x direction, this component is acting to the left, and the component in the y direction is acting straight up. Now, generally, this angle theta will be given, and because of angle side angle, that means that this angle is the same as this angle, so that is angle theta. Since this is the x direction, that's the y direction, that makes this 90 degrees. And you can solve this triangle using uh, sine, cosine, and tangent. We will call this x1, we'll call this y1, we'll call this x2, and this x2 is aimed to the right. And this is a mass that is acting straight down. And we can call that the force of gravity, and that's just mg. Force of gravity is equal to the mass times gravity. Um, now, in order to start the problem, we always sum the forces in the x direction, and then sum the forces in the y direction. So let's do that now. The sum of all forces are equal to mass times acceleration. The sum of the forces in the x direction are going to be equal to it doesn't really matter if you do x1 minus x2 or x2 minus x1 because the object isn't moving in the x direction. All right, so the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration, which is equal to zero. So we could just say that x2 minus x1 is equal to ma, all right, the component of the force in the x2 direction minus the component of the force in the x1 direction is equal to mass times acceleration. These are forces equal to ma. The acceleration is equal to zero because the object isn't going anywhere. So you basically have x2 minus x1 is equal to zero. So x2 is equal to x1. Add x1 to the other side. Now, when we go back over here, this is a straight horizontal uh, component. <coughs> this is horizontal, <coughs> but this is angular dependent. <coughs> so if we look at this in terms of sine and cosine, We're going to break this up into y1, x1, and t1. Cosine theta is x1 over t1. <coughs> so x1 is t1 cosine theta. Sine theta is y1 over t1. So y1 is equal to t1 sine theta. Now, x1 is equal to t1 cosine theta, and x1 equals x2, so they are both equal to t1 cosine theta. All right, now we sum the forces in the y direction. In the y direction, you have y1 pulling up and force of gravity pulling down. So this is going to be y1 minus force of gravity is equal to ma, and the object isn't moving up or down, so there's no acceleration, no velocity, so that's equal to zero. So y1 minus f sub g is equal to zero. y1 is equal to f sub g. f sub g is equal to mass times gravity. And y1 we found is equal to t1 sine theta. So t1 sine theta <clears throat> is equal to mg. In general, in this problem, I'm going to give you the mass, and I'll give you gravity, and you have to solve for the tension. So if we divide by sine theta, T1 is going to be equal to mass times gravity divided by the sine of the angle. Now, <clears throat> if we plug in what we get for mass and gravity and theta, we get T1, and X2 <coughs> equals X1, which equals T1 cosine theta. Once you solve for T1 with this, you plug it back into here, and you get the values for the components of the forces in the x1 and the x2 direction. <coughs>